Want to feel nostalgic? I installed and used Windows XP in 2025. In this video, you will see how and what software still works in Windows XP in 2025. After downloading the Windows XP ISO, I have started its setup. In this Welcome to Setup screen, I will have to press the Enter button. Then here, you will see the license agreement, which you will have to accept by pressing the F8 button on your keyboard. Then here it shows the hard disk space. If you want to create partitions, you can press the C button. I don't want that, so I will use all the space available by pressing the Enter button. It will create a single partition. Then here I will have to format the drive using the NTFS and Quick Formatting option. So select it and hit Enter. Now the setup will start installing Windows XP. After copying the file, it will restart. You don't have to press any key this time. Then after some time, you will have to enter your name and the product key. Here, enter the computer name and administrator password. Then on the next screen, select time zone. Then some networking settings. The PC will restart and Windows XP loads. You know that Windows XP was discontinued a long time ago. In order to make it work in this modern time, you will have to find essential software that can run on Windows XP. The main issue with the Windows XP is it is not receiving any update, meaning it has several security loopholes waiting to be exploited. Officially, Microsoft has stopped sending updates to Windows XP, but there is third-party service called Legacy Update, which you can use to install some essential security updates and features. Legacy Update. You can download the setup for the Legacy Update using the link in the description and run it. So on this screen, click on the Install button. It will download the Update Agent and then open the Update screen in Internet Explorer. After searching for some time, it shows all the available legacy updates. Here, select all the available updates, then click on Review and Install Updates. On the next screen, click on Install Updates. It has found 140 updates to install, so it is going to take some time. First, it has downloaded all the updates, then install all the 140 updates. After all the installation, restart the PC for the updates to take effect. Browser issue. After solving the update issue, let's take a browser issue. Internet Explorer has been discontinued for a long time, and this is the only browser you get on Windows XP, but most websites won't open on this thing, so only browser that is available to work on the Windows XP is My Pal Browser. Download it and install it. Some websites are opening on this browser, but YouTube is not opening, so I downloaded Chrome for Windows XP, but YouTube is not working either. So there are going to be some issues accessing some websites. You will have to work on them and find a solution. Antivirus. I have downloaded the AVG antivirus for Windows XP, but when I tried installing it shows I requires Windows 7 Service Pack 1 at least. So I tried several antiviruses, but none of them could run on Windows XP. I can download the older version, but there is no point in installing the older version as they won't receive any signature updates and thus won't be able to protect you. So this is a risk if you are going to connect Windows XP to the internet. There won't be any protection. Media Player. Now take care of the media player. I have downloaded VLC Media Player, but that is showing an error after installing. So I downloaded another old version of the program and it is working correctly. So your media playing solution is sorted. Office Solution. To open Office documents and work on that, you need Microsoft Office. But unfortunately, that is not going to work. So we are going to install the OpenOffice old version. Download it and install OpenOffice. With this, you can create spreadsheets, Word documents, and databases with this application. You can install these applications and start using Windows XP, but don't expect it to be foolproof against viruses if you connect it to the internet. It is wise to not store critical data in Windows XP as you can lose them at any time.